Hey guys, welcome to AKB and this is Vishnu. So in this illustration, Study Horse Limited, a cycle manufacturing company, has drawn up a program for manufacture. Manufacture of a new product for the purpose of fuller ut fully utilization of its capacity. The scheme envisages the manufacture of body tricycle fitted with a ball bell the company estimate that the sales of the tricycle of 10000 during the first year and expects that from the second year onwards the sales estimate will be stabilized at 20000 tri tricycles since the company has no provision for the manufacturing of the small bell is initially proposed to be met by the way of purchasing from the market at 8 each that is rupees 8 so the company is in manufacturing business the company is planning to build a bell with each tricycle and then this plan will be work the company has no provision to manufacture such bell so they have planned to purchase it from the market for rupees 8 each however if the company dis desires to manufacture the bell in the factory by installing a new machinery it has two alternatives so if the company is planning to manufacture it in the same factory the company has two alternatives either by installing super x machine or by installing janda machine so initial cost 3 lakh and 2 lakh life 10 years each fixed overhead 54000 28000 variable overhead of the bell is 4 rupees 4 and rupees 5 then depreciation of the machine should be charged in a straight line basis so over here, if the company is planning to manufacture the bell from within this permission, the premises, then the company has to buy either machine X or machine Janta and some of the machines, some of the details of these two machines are given. So uh, either, so uh, and then they have given about the depreciation should be charged in a straight line method and they have required number one. For each of the two levels of output, 10,000 and 20,000 bell state with suitable working. So, we, whether the company should purchase the bell from the market or installing new machineries, if you dis, your decision is in favor of installing the new machinery, which of them should be selected? Requirement number two, what would be your decision in case of the forecast of the requirement for the second year onwards estimated at 40,000 bills instead of 20,000 bills. So, if so, we need to check whether uh, the, which machinery is suitable for at the level of 10,000 manufacturing of 10,000 unit 20,000 unit and from the second point we can we get an idea that we need to check what should be which machinery we should select if the unit of bell manufacturing is 40,000 then point number th three at what volume of the bell the installation of two machinery break up break even so going towards the solution, I have made a table which contains the bell manufacturing at 10,000 unit, 20,000 unit and 40,000 unit. So here we have <laughs> here we have three columns and then the three columns will be split at 
when we the bell which is purchased from market and when we, the bell is manufactured using machine X and then machine Genta. Okay, then we have a fixer overhead. First, we'll take the fixer overhead. One of the main point of fixer overhead is depreciation, which is thirty thousand and twenty thousand each. For market, there is no depreciation. We are directly buying from the market, right? Yes. Then we have fixed overhead, excluding depreciation, fifty-four thousand and twenty thousand each, which is also given in the question. Okay, here we have given the fixed overhead as fifty-four thousand and twenty thousand. Okay. Then we have variable overhead. So variable overhead is five and four. And for the market, which is eight rupees per piece, so eight into ten thousand for market, and four into ten thousand for machine X, and five into ten thousand for Genta machine. And when we take the cost, total cost, among these three alternatives, at first option for ten thousand unit, we can. Find that it is better to purchase from market, which is eighty thousand rupees, which is much lesser than the other alternatives, which is one lakh twenty thousand, one lakh twenty four thousand for machine X, and one lakh eight thousand for machine Genda. Then second option at the level of twenty thousand unit, it is better to go. With machine Genda, because which is much cheaper than the other alternatives, which is one lakh forty eight thousand. Okay, after that, the third option of rupees forty thousand unit if the unit of the bell which is manufactured is forty thousand unit, then it is better to for uh, install the machinery X and produce the same. Okay, then. So, I have made a small statement regarding the units of bell manufactured and which machine is to be purchased. Okay, for ten thousand unit, uh, which is this better to purchase from market twenty thousand gen machine Genda and forty thousand machine X. Okay, then we have indifference point. Indifference point is nothing but difference in fixed cost divided by difference in variable cost. So. Um, Fixed cost will be eight lakh forty thousand, four lakh eighty thousand. Eight lakh forty thousand for machine X and four lakh eighty thousand. Eighty-four thousand, sorry, eighty-four thousand for machine X and forty-eight thousand for Genta. And the difference will be thirty-six thousand. And over here, four and variable cost will be four and five, and the difference will be one. Therefore, thirty-six thousand divided by one will give thirty-six thousand units. So, if the product is more pro units required, the bell units bells required is more than thirty six thousand, then it is better to install machine X. And if it if the unit of bell required per annum is less than thirty six thousand, it is better to install machine Chanda. Okay. So guys, I think you got clear and complete clarification regarding this illustration. So if you find this video helpful, please subscribe.